Today I want to show you how you can do kind of blogging with a Pure IDX site. So let's say you have a, a site like this and it has some information here and you have this blog post here. Um, with, with Pure IDX sites, since everything, hence the word Pure IDX, everything comes from the IDX. Most, uh, what you do is you create a new link and you actually are going to create a search. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a search on here. And uh, in this case, we're going to put single family residential. And say we're going to put uh, anywhere in this area. This, this really isn't that critical. We just want to make sure it has an image. And... Uh, you know, we can put five results per page, and we want to sort by the newest listings, basically. So what we do is hit next step. We're going to make a page, and we're actually going to call this um, Curious About Local Real Estate. And I guess I'm going to let me capitalize all these so that they look like the other one. And then question mark. And then so you want to put in some meta tags here that have to do with, so these are phrases. So it's Napa Valley homes for sale, um, local Napa Valley real estate information, you know, whatever, you, whatever you're going to put in here about that. So then what you're going to do is actually right here on the subheader, this is where all your information comes in. So we're going to just copy paste that information since that's what we're going to use. And I'm just going to pop it in here. Okay, and we'll go to save and create links. So now if we go look at this, I'm just going to open this up in a new tab so that we can edit it here. Okay, it's thinks I'm a robot because I have some settings uh, on my, my site. But you can see it's showing these properties and this information down here at the bottom of the page. Well. Um, we probably don't want to put these search buttons on here. We can. Um, and uh, we probably don't want that many properties showing and all this information down here. So what we'll do is I have a code snippet. Okay, so we're going to come back in here on this page. Um, I was trying to see if we could put it in some custom CSS, but because this is a light account, there's there's just not a place to put it in. Um, and this goes in the bottom here of this page. And the only difference here is I think since we have three, two properties up on a page, we put that in here. So now let's see if we reload this page, it should show just two properties. Yep. And it has the IDX stuff, and it's removed um, the bar from us. And so this gives you a page that looks like this. Now, you can come in here if you want to put some more uh, spaces in here. That's, that's probably not a bad thing here. Um, and maybe we... Uh, you know, we can link this over to, you know, a, a page if you want. You could do something like that. And in this case, what I'm actually going to do is link it over here to this. So I'm going to copy this page. And let's put a link on it. We save that. Let's see if that 
puts a little more spacing in there. Yeah, so I click here. And, uh, you know, I don't know if you can put more spaces in here below this. One, two, three, four. I think it would only give you one line without you putting some other, you know, kind of special code in there. Oh, well, we bumped it down quite a bit. So now this is how you make the blog post. So people can look at it um, and, and, and see how to do that. So what you'd want to do is if you want to have a blog page, then you basically just make another page, just like that one that we just made, a new saved link, and you'll put that code snippet in there and you just put in a little paragraph. So let me just make it just for fun. So what I would do is make a page that looks like this. There's actually one in there I can see that says blog. Oops, let's go back and look. Oops, went the wrong way. Save links. Let's go to this blog page and see what that looks like. Okay, so that's coming soon. So what I would do here is, uh, yeah, this, this looks good. What I would do here is on the subheader now, uh, make something that says, uh, curious about local, you know, Napa Valley real estate. Put something like this. Of course, you can you can, you can uh, you know format it all however you want. Um, but basically, what I would do is again, just come over here and grab this uh, and link that to there. And then, since this is kind of the title of that, I personally would also link that to there. And I would make this, um, you know, maybe an H2. Maybe that's too big for what we're doing here. An H3, you know, something like that. So now when you come load the blog page, it's got a link over here. And if somebody clicks on this, it's going to take them over to this page. So that's basically how you would set those up. You just put in all the content there.